Hello, my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to connect to an ICB tool using USB. So anytime you get a new ITB or an ICB tool, this is usually the first step that you're going to take to set the tool up. So I've got a few things that I'll need here today. I have a computer, I have a Torx screwdriver, I also have a USB-A to micro USB cable, and I have my ICB tool with a 14 volt battery on it. It's already powered up and ready to go. So I'm going to use my Torx screwdriver and remove the screw on the back of the tool and open the compartment here. So as I open this up, I have a micro USB connection. I'll plug into that on the tool side, and then I'm going to plug in the USB-A to my computer. And now, let's go into the software. So I'm going to go into my web browser here on my computer, and by default, when we're plugged into our micro USB connection, our IP address to access the tool is 169.254.1.1. If you've ever used the service port on the PF6000, that will seem very familiar, and that's because it's the same address that we use for these tools. So as I pull that up here, we can see now the interface from the tool. And if we look at our software interface here, we have a nice uh, new dark gray interface for the, or a flat dark interface for these tools. This is the same as the PowerFocus 6000. It has a new color scheme, but you'll notice a lot of the functionality and setup on this is exactly the same as you're familiar with from the PowerFocus 6000. This has been connecting to an ICB with USB. If you have any further questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.